The Miami Transplant Institute is a joint program uh, between the University of Miami and, and Jackson Memorial uh, Hospital. It's one of the oldest uh, programs in the country. Uh, it's about to be 50 years. Uh, we have performed almost 12,000 transplants here. The opportunity to do surgery and take care of patients at Jackson Memorial Hospital is unlike any other opportunity in the country as far as uh, having a transplant at a county hospital. This has been working remarkably well for a long time. Pediatric uh, kidney transplant is one of the largest programs in the entire country uh, during pediatric kidneys. And I think really what translates uh, the quality of our program is our survival. The outcomes here are fantastic. It's close to 100%. We have performed over 400 kidney transplants in children over the last 40 or so years. We uh, have a multidisciplinary team that includes pediatric transplant nephrologists, pediatric uh, transplant surgeons, as well as individuals from pharmacy, nursing coordinators, and social workers. Multidisciplinary care is essential in any transplant program. We really depend on the care of a multitude of us to have the best outcomes for these patients and so they can live for many years and have productive lives for years to come. One night, um, I had swelling in my ankles and I had swelling in my lower abdomen. And my mom was like, you still have to go to the hospital and get checked out. And that's when you found out everything. Once I met the whole team and everything, like, the, my whole mindset changed and we were very assured about everything. Miami Transplant Institute is what I consider a, a true melting pot. So we see many uh, individuals that come throughout the world. It's very unique to see the types of patients that we see and also, also the pathology that we see. We're talking about very uh, diverse genetic groups. We've had to learn uh, from an immunosuppression standpoint what works the best as we have gotten a better understanding of our patient population and as immunosuppression has evolved over these last 30 years. We take care of children with uh, complex urological problems. We also take care of uh, patients who went into kidney failure from lupus or uh, some other uh, rare kidney diseases. We try our very best to try to improve uh, adherence and we have some simple tools to improve uh, health literacy and adherence, uh, especially among the adolescents who get kidney transplants. We develop different uh, immunosuppressions to help them, but not to reject the kidney. Our rejection rate is very minimal maybe below the 5% in the first year. And it's just because of the combination and the experience that we have for many years. One of our driving forces is the concept of bedside to bench and back again research. The Katz Family Drug Discovery Center has actually uh, generated throughout the years a new discovery in the field of glomerular disease, which are a form of disease that is a common cause of end-stage kidney failure in the pediatric population. With the idea to, number one, develop new drug in the field of glomerular disease that offer hope to our patients, but also to allow to perform precision medicine initiatives so that we can really tailor the care of our patient in a personalized manner uh, based on uh, each uh, uh, pathology that we see. And we have successfully developed drugs that are now entering phase two trial, and that's thanks to the entire team you've seen today. There's two ways to do the pediatric transplant when they're small. One, going inside the abdomen, you don't want to stay outside the abdomen and go to a space called retroperitoneal space. Almost all our transplants are done in the retroperitoneal space. We mobilize all the tissue, we get to the major vessels to do the transplant, we mobilize the liver and, and if there is a kidney, we mobilize up and then we place our own kidney. Another technique that we use in the center is to use the small uh, kidneys for pediatric donor and to avoid complication with the ureter we use a bladder patch, or a segment of the bladder. So we transplant the two kidneys, the ureter, and the bladder. We have a lot of highly sensitized patients, either because they're going for retransplant or because of other instances that they've developed a lot of other antibodies. We're able to either give them special medications or special treatments to lower these antibodies in hopes of finding a match for them. Because we are a very comprehensive center, uh, we can also perform those transplants in kids that have more complex diseases, whether they need a kidney liver, a multivisceral transplant with five organs plus kidney. We have here a group of people and physicians and the staff that can do that. 
Dr. Chandar here has been with me since day one. She's always been a huge supporter, a huge help. A patient with kidney disease goes through a lot in their life. It's important to address the psychological and social aspects because that ultimately impacts uh, kidney transplant outcomes too. Another very unique thing that we've done here is to help uh, establish a transitional care program. So the patient adapts to the environment and the type of care that we expect for them as an adult versus what they were getting as a child. When I was 10 years old, I entered end-stage renal disease. I fortunately was born with an identical twin, and by using the team at the University of Miami, we were able to advocate so that she could be a donor even though we were under the legal living donor age of 18. Thanks to the amazing work of the University of Miami transplant team, I was able to celebrate my 20th kidneyversary. We have a very dedicated team, and this dedicated team brings many years of experience and expertise to the table. This is what has allowed us to create a special pediatric kidney transplant program. This program is devoted to compassionate patient care, clinical and basic science, and teaching.